Good afternoon, Owensboro High School. I'm Joseph Hunt. And, and I'm Anna Strahan. Today is Friday, November 7th, 2014. A lot has happened since our last broadcast. For starters, football homecoming was Friday, October 25th. Seniors Maggie Davis and Eric Holman were elected king and queen, so let's congratulate them. Last week, senior Gabe Thelman was surprised by President Ransdell and Big Red of Western Kentucky University. Gabe was the 2019th person admitted to the WKU class of 2019. Thelman was presented with a basket of WKU flair. And the American Heart Association visited OHS to rein local students and hands on CPR. Did you know the cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in the United States? And nearly 360,000 people experience cardiac arrest outside of a hospital each year. Yes, unfortunately, nearly 90% of cardiac arrest victims do not survive mostly because they don't receive timely CPR. The fourth and final payment for the Washington, D.C. trip is due in a couple of weeks, along with the medical release form. Make sure you deliver the payment and the medical form to Mr. Russellberg as soon as possible. If you've been able to, or if you've been to any football games this year, you may have seen the band's halftime show, which is also their competition show. The band is on fire this year. They finished 12th in state. Not bad, considering this is their first year they've made it in seven years. Here's a little bit more on the band and their halftime show. More performing arts news. Tuesday, November 18th, join the drama class, drama one class, for their Rose Curtain stage debut in Remember When as well as the honor-winning production of Jerry Finnegan's Sister, 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Students' tickets are $3. John Thomas and Kelsey certainly know how to put on a good show, don't they, Anna? <laughs> Monday and Tuesday, November 24th and 25th, join the Rose Curtain Players and Production Basics class for their story of Rachel Corey, based upon the famous poem, Richard Coy Corey, Perfect Rachel. 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Student tickets are only $3. Hope to see you there. Moving on to the sports, Halloween proved to be a scary night for the Devils on the football field. But don't worry, a team of experts has it all broken down and knows what went wrong. In cross-country news, the girls' cross-country team qualified for state as a team. With Alex Gurton placing 7th in the region, the boys ended their season with Warren Green qualifying for state. Well, that's it for the Owensboro High School School News. Stay tuned until next time. Stay golden, Owensboro. <laughs>